get this done. Okay. Billy Goat. Billy Goat's gruff. Watch out, pixies. All right, Santa, come out from nowhere in the, at the end to try and win the glory. <laughs> it's not how this works. Oh, the three little pigs homes. Well, you know the story, don't you? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Looks like big bad's already blown down the houses of straw and sticks. Oh. Brick's the only one left. We should look inside. Remember Joss's words? Mm -hmm. One bean lies out in the open, guarded by three nobodies. Yeah, could be it. We'll do that in a minute. Gotta go help a goose. Doesn't seem to be at home. A feather. Broken. It was a fight. Okay. Let's goose feathers. follow the goose. Must have been flapping its wings. Or did it just get plucked? Watch out! Pixies! Come on! That's my name! Ugly and fierce. Hey, there, in the trees. Some kind of camp. You paint the ghost! The golden X will be ours! Bandit dwarves. The keeper in the cage. Eggs from free range birds or something. Here it is. Got it. Hmm. Open the door. <laughs> Good thing you posted that notice. Never would have found you otherwise. Roach, I need you to come and translate. Oh, Fucking no. hell! I laid a golden egg for you. <laughs> <laughs> if only all my employers were that generous. Would have preferred a magic bean, but not about to complain. Well, all right then. Did you really travel all the way here for a call? Nature of the job. I don't believe it. You must have had another reason. Mm. Well, spent a few idyllic months in Beauclair some time past. Part of me wanted to come back, I think. Oh yes. Visit to Saint once and you'll always long to return. Not wrong. I wonder if the egg was warm. <laughs> oh, you could just imagine like the egg being just that little bit warmer than you'd like in your palm. All right. Bring it. Gonna go inside the goose's house. Goose, 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 goose. All right, back to the three little pigs. What the hell? Stunning, are they not? My new robes absolutely stuck. My new attire reveals itself, but to the wise and cult. We'll leave that one there, <laughs> I think. OK. 
Okay. Interesting. Fucking hell! I need bacon! It's stuck in place! <laughs> Just slaughtered the three not very little piggies. We have a blue bean. The big bad witcher huffed and puffed, and look, got a bean. <laughs> it cannot be. What cannot be? You actually have a sense of humor. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why so shocked? Well, when you arrived, all you did was pout and mumble things in that graffily monotone. And now this. Mm. A jest. That's what happens and when an angry man. That. But here we are chatting away when there's work to do. We must keep looking. Okay. Is it the free bears? So, Is it do you like Grandma Mama's house? No. Got a problem with magic in general. Illusions, portals, all that. Don't trust any of it. A bow of old fashioned tastes, eh? I like that. Oh, Sayana. You are lovely and everything, but... It always grapple up her brave in the past, but I don't see it anyway. We'll find another way up. This long locks tower? Indeed. It's even taller than I remember. Wait. What Joss said about the third beam, remember? In the possession of a bold farmhouse somewhere deep beneath the ground. Yes, this must be it. Let's go. Could pull myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here if it's all the same. Climbing slope, my strong suit. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna F5 this because I'm gonna fall off a lot. We all know it. Prince's corpse. <laughs> Tried to free long locks, but fell and broke his neck. This is a proper messed up fairy tale land, isn't it? Where is what would happen if all the fairy tales kind of went wrong? Holy shit. The hell happened here? Try and blow the tower down or something. The big bad wolf come back? And blow the some in some pigs? Oh god, no! <laughs> This is genuinely awful. <laughs> oh, this actually makes me feel a little bit sick. Um, it's a curtain. It's a curtain. It's a curtain. It's a curtain. Let 
I'm gonna eagle dive off that or something. Yellow beam. Here it is. Would have stumped to climb all that way for nothing. Let's not look at that. I'm gonna hit F5. Dive into the water! Ooh! No, don't take me out! There was something in there was something in the water! God damn it, game. So? Got the bean, but long locks. Hmm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Yeah. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. <laughs> that one of you cozied up to a vampire? Dead laugh was a tool, and only a tool. Oh, well, how did that work out for you? That. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. It's not how it works with vampires, mate. To use him. Was that your plan They're from the start? They're different to people. No. At first I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Deadlock. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick. He gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance, but he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? The Black Sun stuff is a load of rubbish. A higher vampire and you were unimpressed? Don't know if that's brave or just plain foolish. I've always had a way with ostensibly dangerous, quiet types. That's supposed to be about me too? Oh, mother, <laughs> I hate to disappoint you, Geralt, but your belly button is not the center of the known world. No, you do remind me of him a bit, stifling all emotions inside you ever feigning indifference. You see, when I met Detlaf, I... Somehow I knew, call it intuition, that he meant me no harm, that he was trying to frighten me off, for he too was scared. Now do you understand? I guess. No, actually, I really don't. What happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times, Enough that he became infatuated. I truly enjoyed it at first. But only at first. He did not love like a man. But like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally. Wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard-pressed. Let alone someone as twisted as I am. So oh, I'm so complicated. You just up and disappeared. Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends, or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned, or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Don't think that's really how it'll go down, my dear. Got a history with Detlaf now, so this meeting will be different. Not afraid? I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. <laughs> she knows alliteration, doesn't she? She surely shot that shit up. Yeah, very quickly. There was something in the water. There's the water I dived into. Oh my god! This was not what I was expecting when I was like, there's something in the water!
Holy crap. Are these people who, like, threatened this? Or does the prince keep respawning? Wow. How the hell does this water stay this clean? Like the dead marshes in Lord of the Rings. Okay. Fucking pixies! They're just attacking everything now! Okay. Only one to go. Concentrate girl. Let's go down here. Three bears. Three stools, three beds, three bowls. One a bit too big, the other too small, the third just right. I don't think this ended well. Blonde curls. Rest of the body's too mutilated. Hard to say anything. She got what she deserved, as I see it. Always took what she wanted. Gotta keep looking. There goes baby bear. Fuck you, mama bear. Down goes Daddy. Wait, sir. Only one beam to go. Concentrate. Okay, my sword is starting to get damaged again. How much? I'm forty-five percent. Okay. Keep using these kits. It's a fragile blade, isn't it, Arendite? Oh! Hey, big bad wolf. Hello? Can we talk? Shmumbach, my head! Damn it all! I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard! <laughs> oh, Fiona! A bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. <laughs> at the dead, what brings you? Have a drink with us. You could always have a drink with us. Oh, what now? Not on your life. I can barely stand, I'm so hungover. You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question! And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me off my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Okay. Looking for magic beans. Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats! Sianna to a T. Listen, 
I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, little red riding hoods popped her clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Oh, no, dear Lord. Once at the bottom of the well, she and the hunter, which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you, not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. Holy shit! Uh. Hmm. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I tell you. Wolf. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. The piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? <laughs> Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. Oh, what awful creature's gonna be down there waiting for me, I wonder. Let's right. save. Time to jump in the well. Break a leg. Could you have said any other phrase at that moment? Hmm. Well, let's leave them here. The waters around here are cursed, I swear. Fresh about them. Ooh, a chest. Old Blue Coach's notes. It's it is seven years today since we last saw Sayana and Anrietta. The spell is really starting to decay now, and some of the residents of this land are beginning to go mad. The wolf murdered Little Red Riding Hood, and the hunter, the witch roasted Tom Fum alive, along with the seven Hangforsians, and pixies attack anyone who comes near. We sought shelter in the clouds, but the giant drove us away. Our last resort is the ship of King Frushbeard. We are planning to wait the worst of it out in the middle of a lake. Oh, that again did not work. What the fuck? Any luck? Yep, look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Very regal. Remembering it just came off a corpse. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. <laughs> You'll play the granddaughter. Mm -hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Um... Yeah. Not a problem. Have a look over. Sienna can take her place. What? <sighs> Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Grand hotel. <laughs> Come closer, sweetie. Oh but my god. Wait, Mama, what big eyes you have. They're better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big eyes. Arms you have. The better to embrace you with, my dear. And grandmama, what big teeth you have. 
Hey. The better to eat you with, my dear. Let's bust her. Come on. Come, big bad wolf. Hey, big bad bitch. Remember what Joss hmm. said about the red beam? A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Covered in bile. Ah, Lovely. at last we have them all. Ooh, five points! That's enough. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? I'm curious, but you didn't seem to want to tell me much. <laughs> You're just less interesting than you think. <laughs> well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They had escorted you out of the duchy. Yes, and the noble knights of Toussaint I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone. I do. Without a copper. That place is in a dangerous. Torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me. Or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off Plastic for Mizea, rogue. and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader. Of the whole ragged band. And I slaughtered them at castle. Should have stayed there, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps I should have forgotten everything, started a new life. But you know what? There came a point when I thought, you wanted a monster. Then a monster you shall get. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. Sense. We've had our chat. Come. Feel awful for her no matter what. Okay. Just a bit more and I'll be free. At last. Grandma's house. Okay. No map here. Right. Oh. Roach has changed. Come on. Can I get this roach in the real world as well? I'm gonna try and talk to the kid again. Wolf's on the prowl! Coming down the mountain! Oh, Oof. shut up, you little shit. Right, this is the spot. Pull out the bees. I mean, I've been asked for proposition in worse ways. <laughs> Eh? 
There we go. Plugged it all into the ground. Wait. Why? The stalk will sprout abruptly. Very abruptly. We must be careful. Do it from a distance? Okay, <laughs> toss them! We must be careful. You do it instead. <laughs> Just gonna explode or something? Always got to go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're in my axes, I've had that the too. Home stretch. You can never be 100% certain of what's going to happen. <laughs> 